All right, please hit the dragon. Please hit the dragon. <laughs>what is up guys it's your boy the toad and welcome back to hypixel skyblock today i'm going to be testing out the brand new three bows that came out in yesterday's combat update the venom's touch the queen's stinger and the soul's rebound and let me tell you right now these bows are absolutely ridiculous well at least two of them are one of them is total trash but the other two are actually insane and one of them can one shot a dragon yeah, you heard me right. So if you're excited to see this or you're new to my channel, uh, consider subscribing. I mean, we're almost at 60,000 subs and uh, we're trying to get to 100,000 by the end of the year. So if you like what you see here, then uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a like on the video. Let's try to get to 1,000 likes on today's video. And without further ado, let's just show off how to get these boats because this is absolutely crazy. So if we head on over to the spider den. This is where all of the new update stuff happens to be. And we go all the way down here and go over to this little house. This is pretty much the new area that was added into the spider den yesterday, along with all of the bestiary and the basically skyblock Wikipedia, as it was deemed. But we head down into these, and this is where the new little layer is with all of the different levels of spiders. These spiders are a lot higher level than most of the other spiders in the game, so they're great for farming things like slayers, or they also have a chance to drop a special item that's used to summon a boss. And there are actually two different stages to this boss. The first one is the easy mode, and the second one, you have to use a special crystal to summon it. And it can drop these little soul queen fragment things that are used to craft these three bows. I'll go ahead and go to my island and I'll show you all the crafting recipe for these bows so you can get them yourself. The first one is the spider's queen stinger. It takes 18 soul string, 12 enchanted dark oak, and 6 enchanted spider eyes. Very, very cheap to craft. Probably like 50,000 coins at most. The next one is the venom's touch and this is the amazing one I love. It takes 30 soul string, 120 enchanted red mushrooms, and 10 spider eyes. And finally is the souls rebound, and this one has a really, really unique ability that I will be showing off today. It takes 3 stacks of soul strings, 10 dark queen's souls, and 3 stacks of enchanted gas tears. The previous two bows can be leveled up by using different crafting recipes, you can just check them out for yourself if you want. But I'm not going to be using these, I do have the tiered up spider's queen stinger. But for the Venom's Touch, you actually don't need it to be fragged up, and for the final bow, well, it doesn't actually get a final form. But that's okay for what it does. So let's go to the hub, and let's test these against the current best bow in the game, Magma Bow. First, let's make sure we have some Magma Cream in our quiver. Good, good, we do. Uh, let's go ahead and just put it in the front, because that might be how it works. We can put some in the back, just to make sure it uses it. And the gear I'm going to be using is a Terra Helm, a Skeleton Lord Chestplate, and 2 4 Shadow Assassin Armor. I'll be using a dragon pet as well, a level 100 ender dragon. So the magma bow currently deals, well, 400,000 damage, and then it pierces for 100,000. I'll show that one more time so you can see. Just about 400,000. The next one we're going to show is the spider's queen stinger, and this is actually the worst bow. You can tell it's the worst because I didn't even bother to enchant it because no one actually likes this thing. But basically what it does is you can kind of spam it, and it does small damage, but it's really interesting as it kind of sprays your arrows out a little bit. And it deals extra damage when it travels through enemies, but it really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Uh, it, it seems to be kind of broken, but overall it's just not a very good bow. So I wouldn't recommend getting the Queen Stinger, but these two bows are what we're going to go over today, and these two bows are absolutely insane. So starting off with the Venom's Touch, this shoots a volley of five arrows similar to the Hurricane Bow, and the Aiming Enchant does not work on it. It doesn't work on the other bow either. So uh, if you're thinking about putting aiming on this, don't bother. It's not going to do anything. But effectively, this bow look uh, works as a kind of spray and prey weapon in the sense where you pretty much just mash arrows. I would recommend fully charging them up. But uh, it does actually pretty decent damage. As you can see, it does about 200,000 damage. And all five arrows actually do the 200,000 damage, as you saw there, which is really useful for fighting things that have a lot of enemies. So if I want to go to the spider den, this is probably the bow I would go around spamming, trying to get uh, as many spider kills as possible so I can summon a slayer boss. But this isn't the true power of the bow. I'm just showing this in the graveyard to show its base damage, but during a dragon fight is when you will see the true powers of this. But there's one more bow we actually want to go ahead and test out first, and that is going to be the soul's rebound. And this bow is very, very interesting in the sense where... If I just read the ability out loud, your arrows mark enemies you hit for 5 seconds. Marked enemies don't take damage from you. Once the mark expires, the target will receive a burst of damage equal to all the damage dealt during the mark, increased by up to 20%. So effectively, you shoot an arrow at a zombie, you spam your weapon as fast as you can, and then after 5 seconds it will die, and as you can see I just did 20 million damage in one hit. So the upside to this bow is it increases your overall damage by 20%, so you shoot one arrow, you spam as fast as you can, and it doesn't take the damage yet, but once it dies here, then you'll see that 25 million damage 
it'll do extra damage. So it's kind of like a, if the boss is going to survive five seconds, then you want to use this Souls Rebound bow. So your archers in dungeons are actually going to go ahead and want to grab themselves this bow because it's just super, super overpowered. And yes, it does work with magic damage. If I spam all of my Hyperion, uh, you'll see that 18 million. If we just shot the zombie and mash as fast as we can and got a little bit of hype spam in there, you'll see that that was 25.2 million. So this bow is great for basically enemies that live a long time. You'll get an extra up to 20% damage if they end up surviving the full five seconds if someone else doesn't kill them. But it's a nice way to kind of just increase your damage a little bit and you can see that you don't have to do too much and well, I still did 20 million. It's hard to do low damage with this bow. But if we did this and then we switched to like a magma bow, you're an archer or something, you don't quite have bone ranks and then you shoot this a couple times. And there we go, it just did 1.4 million damage without even having a sword, which is not bad at all. But I know you're all here to see me one-shot a dragon, and you got a little taste of what it looks like in the intro clip. So I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and show the whole fight right now and let you guys see that. Alright, I'm really hoping this Fire Lord guy isn't doing it too. Oh, looks like he might be going in with bone rings. Alright, this will at least give us a chance to try and show this off. Please hit the dragon. Please hit the dragon. I hit the dragon! Let's go! And he did 38 mil. <laughs> uh, he did ghost damage. Hey, another AOTD. But uh, that's just to show that this bow one-shots dragon. It, it's kind of ridiculous. So he, he did ghost damage, so uh, that, that, that's why he has 38. Uh, th this bow literally one-shots dragons. Kind of broken right now, but um, <laughs> it's really, really fun to use. So yeah, these bows are kind of insane. The first one is absolutely useless. In fact, I don't even want it. Get it out of my, I can't even drop it. It's stuck to me. Get out of my inventory. I don't even want it. But these other two bows, the Venom's Touch is amazing for dragon fights and bosses like that. And these Souls Rebound is great for Slayers or maybe the dungeon bosses if you're trying to get some extra damage. Since luckily you don't even have to dungeonize this weapon or max it out. All you have to do is just shoot it once, mash your weapon as absolute fast as you can, and we'll see how much damage I was able to get there. 25 million. Yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, that's it for today's little showcase of the, I would say, new best items in Skyblock. Because, well, you can't ask for more than one-shotting a dragon and dealing 20 million damage in a hit. Which pretty much overtakes Emerald Blades that anyone's ever really done with. But if you enjoyed this, again, drop a like on the video. If you want to see more uh, content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, next video is going to be another part of the Iron Man series. So if you guys were looking for that, I'll go ahead and make another part of that series on the next video. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and take care.